Right, so we've just set up um, a grid. This is just one meter by one meter, so it can be as small or as large as you want. So you can do this on a grand scale, and we do this to try and figure out what is it that my soil or my plants are really going to respond to. So if you've got a soil test, then you can actually have a look at what is it that my plants might be looking for. Maybe it's a little bit of sodium. So in these bottles, I've got CRN, which is a type of nitrogen with a little bit of boron. So that'll be interesting to see. Is that going to lift it? Is it going to lift our bricks or drop our bricks? We've got Folia Blend, which has got Bob. <laughs> What's in the Folia Blend? So it's just got living biologicals or just a stimulant? Just a stimulant. Okay. We've got boron and a little bit of fish. We've got kelp. We've got salt, kelp, and fish. So mixing them up. Fish by itself. Fish, humic, and kelp. You can see the black ones have got a bit of humic. We've got a bit of sugar. We've got a crop booster. And there's milk. I think milk's in my handbag. Can, do you mind? Mom. Mom. Help. <laughs> milk. <laughs> milk. Okay. So what we're going to do, and I'll get 10 volunteers to do this, is you're just going to choose one area, don't go on top of where someone else has been, and you're just going to spray it, just get the spray nozzle so we have a nice even spray. Sometimes you've got to turn the bottle on an angle if you see that the pipe is in the air and you're not getting anything through. I'm going to go for more of a spray like this. Don't spray in your neighbor's bit, it's cheating. Okay, like this, and you're going to just do that until we run out. Then when you're finished, put your bottle in the middle so we know who did what. So if I can have 10 volunteers to just grab a bottle each, choose a grid, go for it. Volunteers! Have you got water in the sugar one? I would imagine so. Okay, doing a good job. So, so you're going to stay within like six inches so you don't get over spray onto your neighbor. Yeah, no cheating. <laughs> okay. I had a dairy farmer call me, they were growing some amazing tall grass, but whenever he was growing, in, um, so they started putting this product on, they were growing a lot of grass, but the animal production started to fall, the milk production was falling, and when I had a look at his cattle, his dairy cows, they were on the reportable list in terms of animal condition, like, like, they looked absolutely terrible, but he had a lot of grass. We did this trial, we used his product, so the product that he had looked amazing, you know, it was fish and humic acids and seaweeds and fulvic, and he went, oh, how lovely, what a beautiful sounding product. We did this trial looking at different products, different combinations, where we put his product, the bricks dropped by three. So the photosynthesis actually dropped. So you can do a little bit of that, that's all right, get to the bottom. Um, so if it's something that the bricks is dropping, I'd want to be having a look at what else is in those ingredients. When we looked at the very small fine print, it said gibberellins and auxins. What are gibberellins and auxins? Plant growth hormones. All right, so they're hormones that they add into the mix. It's where some of these products get their names for being snake oil because they grow stuff, but there's no substance to it at all. So he was getting drops in production even though he was growing more grass. So that doing this told us very quickly that that was not a product you want to be using. So it's a good way of ruling out some of the snake oil stuff that you're going to see on the market is do something like this. We want to see the bricks lift by at least um, two points before we would really consider lifting, uh, looking at something. So these rates that we've put in would be the equivalent of say five liters a hectare depending on what the product is. Some of them we're only putting in like um, 150 mils, which is really hard to measure, <laughs> tiny amounts. So we're looking at a foliar spray here. If you were to do this um, and looking at putting some calcium on, for instance, you're not going to get that response in 40 minutes. So if we're doing minerals, we're not going to see that immediate response. Okay, so we want to just be looking at what are we doing with foliars? How do we really get that plant boosted up? We want to see more sugar, more photosynthesis. It's not a great day for doing it. Why not? <laughs> well, it's done had quite a few overcast days so if you've had maybe four or five overcast days and it's raining you're not going to have very high photosynthesis or bricks to measure. Through what you're expecting from the spray test we just did, this is kind of what you were looking to find. I think right now we're not going to see anything. Yeah, but what were you kind of <laughs> yeah. Well that's what we'd see so uh, we've written down all the different products. What's going to give us the biggest boost? Maybe it was 
you know, um, five kilograms of salt. So we just did the normal table salt. So five kilograms of salt with uh, seven litres of fish per hectare. Does that really boost our bricks or does it stay the same? We put in um, five litres of milk per hectare. So that's how we've extrapolated. Does that lift it or stay the same or drop? So you can try it with anything. A little bit of molasses. The molasses we'd be putting in like it when we do our mixture you're only putting in like 0.01 mil of molasses like that's how little it is if we were doing a square meter to you know a whole hectare so you're only putting tiny amounts in but you want to see does that lift my brick okay so we want to see that bricks lift so please you know if you've got a refractometer go home um, and, and, and try it they are on Amazon they do have some but just have a look at what's really going to get that brick humming is it seawater is it molasses is it fish is it seaweed is it some of these cultured brews, worm tea, whatever with your imagination? I, I like I look at stuff that's in the cupboard and go, would that be something I might be able to get here? You know, there's stuff around. And we talked about seawater, you can get sea salt or sea mineral. We're doing this for you, Maury. 